Good morning, everybody. So it's the, what day is it today? Is it, is it the 9th of November today? I think it is, it is Thursday. Um, and I, as you can probably tell, I am wearing some fancy clothes today. <laughs> I've got a blouse on. Actually, Lily saw me put this blouse on and she went, you look like a man. I think because Daddy wears shirts sometimes. Um, and I was like, I do look like a man, thank you very much. I am dressing up because, oh, I've got some much things to update you on. Um, to everyone that's asked me about my new job, I don't have it anymore. <laughs> And I went for an interview this morning. Um, so I will fill you in on that when I get back. I need to, I've just got back from an interview for a doctor's receptionist. Um, and which I think went quite well, but we'll wait and see if they want to give me the job or not. Um, so right now I need to pop out to return a parcel for Gareth's nan. Get some bread because we had no bread this morning. So nobody had sandwiches for school. Everybody had a brioche roll instead of a sandwich. Um, and breakfast was interesting because there was no bread. So yeah, it was very much make make do breakfast this morning. Um, yeah, so I've got to go get that and probably buy some milk as well so I don't run out of milk. And then I will sit down with you and tell you what's been going on for the past few days. <laughs> back from the shops oh my goodness traffic is horrendous there's a road shut near us and it's just taking forever to get anywhere um and then no way like i thought well, if i turn around can i go this way and it kind of like all just made it so that i just have to sit in that traffic so anyway pop tomorrow things and i got some bread oh my god what i need to tell you is i'm such an idiot so <laughs> i went to the petrol garage to return this amazon thing and as, as I've, got, I've got some fuel, as I'm walking in there, I trip and go flying. And thank goodness no one sees me, apart from the, the cashier man. And I just stood there laughing my head off because in that situation, what are you going to do? Um, but laugh at yourself. I was holding my bread. Oh, that's annoying. Um, so, yeah, I get in there, trip, and then pay for my fuel, try and return this parcel. I need a QR, QR code for, so I had to call Gareth. Because obviously I had, he hasn't sent it to me. And um, and then I'm on the phone waiting for Gareth to answer the phone thinking, oh, he's not going to pick up. I'm going to have to take the blooming parcel back home with me. Um, but he did pick up and send it through to me. So I did that. But then I was like, oh, I need bread and milk. And I didn't want to like go off and get it in the carriage and then be, come back and pay because I'd already embarrassed myself enough. So I went to Morrison's <laughs> and I got some bread here, which has got a little hole in it, which is annoying. But I'm going to, I'm just going to pop a bit of sellotape over it to seal the hole because then the bread will stay fresh because it's really soft. And I got some milk. Ooh. And then a couple of things because it's Thursday, I'm doing the shopping Saturday just to tie this over. Chocolate spread because the kids haven't had that. Um, I got them some little dairy milk mini bars for their lunchbox tomorrow. And some orange juice for their lunchbox tomorrow. And a pack of cookies just to have in the cookie jar. And that was it. And that was like seven something. So yeah, and then when I went to pay, oh, it's just not, it's not a day where Claire is doing well. Um, I went to pay, opened up my my purse, and as I tried to open up the middle zip bit, there was a £10 note, like, wedged in the zip. So it took me ages to open my thing. And in the end, I got in there, but I was just like, oh, I'm so sorry. It's just, just ridiculous. Just my life, honestly. So um, I'm going to pop this away. I'm going to make a cup of tea. Then I think I need to have a chat with you about what's going on. Oh my god look i'm just coming to sit down to have a chat with you guys and oh the mess my children leave in the morning nothing got sorted oh, the table. nothing got sorted this morning anyway because i was getting ready for my interview but i'll sort that out in a minute but my goodness these kids make such a mess oh right so oh, i thought i'd just chat to you here because i don't normally chat to you here do i if you're at a different angle of my of my home on the camera um so basically um, it's the 9th today. I started my new job on the 6th and um, oh, now the sun's coming really bright. I'm going to have to go and shut that blind. Hold on. Oh my God. Oh Lordy. Right. So yeah, I started my new job on the 6th, which was fine. Um, the lady I was working with was really nice and the work was fine. I don't mind. I don't mind cleaning. I don't mind cleaning at all. Um, I don't mind cleaning any kind of house. It doesn't bother me. Um, so it's not the fact that I'm a princess and I don't want to get my hands dirty because I've been doing that for over a year and I clean all the time at home. 
but so Monday and Tuesday were fine. I was home by two o'clock on on Monday, and then Tuesday I was home just after one. So I was kind of like, I mean, you know, I'm thinking like, oh, this isn't going to be enough money because I'm only getting paid for the actual houses that I do and the time that we're there. So I'm probably not be earning a lot of money anyway. Tuesday, I'd pretty much decided that I could do this on my own. Like I'm smart enough, I can run my own business and I can, I think I could make a good go of it. Um, so I basically decided that that's what I was going to do, set up my own cleaning business. And that was kind of what was in the long run anyway, I wanted to get some experience and then set my own one up because obviously I'm well versed in cleaning and I'm well versed in cleaning hotel rooms and apartments there, but house cleaning is something different. Um, but yeah, by Tuesday I was just like, you know what, I, I can do this, like I can, I can do this and I can do it well. Um, and then yesterday I went out with, um, two, two other girls that are, are on, on the team and I was picked up in one of their cars and they were smoking in the car, which my mum has said is illegal to smoke in a work vehicle, but I don't know what the rules are if it's, if you're self-employed, which is what I am at the moment. Um, and I wasn't happy about that because I'm not a smoker, so I don't want to be smoked on. Plus, I don't want to, I don't want to breathe in people's smoke because it's bad for you. Um, if you want to smoke, that's up to you, but don't subject other people to it. And um, it was every time we got in the car, like we got in the car to go to five different places and four times the, the cigarettes were out and I was just like, I can't do this. Um, yeah, I just said to Gareth, I'm not above cleaning. No one's above any job. I'm not above cleaning, but I'm certainly above sitting in the back of a car with sick people with cigarette smoke all over me. Um, and I can do this myself better, I, I think. So, um, and then probably earn more money than what I was on, that what I'd be earning that way. Um, so yeah, I was just texting Gareth and I was like, I can't, I can't do this, I can't do this. So I just said to Gareth yesterday, like, how I was feeling, and he said, well, just go on your own then, just get to get it done and sort it out and go on your own and we'll be fine in the meantime. So that's kind of where we were. Oh, excuse me. Um, and then I had a quick look on, I was on the phone with my sister, and she said that she'd seen a job come up for a medical receptionist near us. And so she sent it over to me. And I applied for it, and then very quickly I was asked in for an interview, and today at 10. So I was like, well, I'm not doing anything. i would definitely go in for that and go for the interview. So that's what I've done. So, which I think went well. Um, it sounds like it'd be a challenging job, but an interesting job. And I had to do an online assessment as well, and that made me use my brain. I could feel my brain working, and it felt quite nice, actually. Because I haven't had a job where I've had to actually use my brain since, like, well... Maybe before, because when I did admin, it wasn't like that complicated admin. I only did it two days a week, so I wasn't doing any of like the real like loads of stuff, like in-depth things. So I didn't feel like I was using my brain wholly. So I guess I haven't really used my brain properly at work since before I had kids. Um, and that like Zach's 10. So yeah, that felt good actually, like getting my brain to work. Although saying that this morning I was helping Charlie with his times tables and his dividing. Oh, I'm rubbish at mental division. Absolutely rubbish. Um, and I don't even think I was explaining it to him right. So I need to ask his teacher again. Um, and so, yeah, I kind of hope I get the job. But I'm not holding my breath because I've probably had lots of people going for it. And, you know, I can only work school hours. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll wait and see. But it did feel good, good to get offered an interview and go to the interview and everything. Um... So yeah, and then, so in the meantime, I've signed, I was signed on with a cleaning agency anyway, so I've got a job to go to tomorrow, so I need to call my insurance and check to see if I am covered for business, I don't think I am. Gareth is on my policy in case he needs to take my car to work, but I don't think I'm covered, but I do need to ring them um, after I finish speaking to you guys and see, because if that is the case and how much it is, I will need to get that sorted before tomorrow because I've got a job in the morning. Um, so that's what I'm doing at the moment and I know I'm probably going to get quite a lot of judgment from people saying you know well you've got a family to feed and a house to run and a car to pay for and you've just left your job with nothing to go to but you're not living my life um, like no one's living each other's lives so yeah there, there's that and if I'm going to set up my own cleaning business I kind of need to be around to do that so that's where we are. Um, I mean, if I get offered this job at the doctor's surgery, then I 
will take it. And I won't set up my own cleaning business. If I don't, I'll definitely set up my own cleaning business because I think that is something that I'd be quite good at. I think I'd be, I do think I could do it. Um, because despite despite everything you see on YouTube, I do have a brain. I, it's in here. It's just not switched on half the time. Um, so I think I I, I could do that. And I, I don't mind cleaning. I quite enjoy it. Um, I find it quite rewarding. So yeah. So that is basically where we're at at the moment. But I I don't know where I'm at at the moment. To be honest, I've gone for an interview. Um, I've got no idea what's going to happen. I really don't. Um, I'm under no illusions that setting up my own business is going to be easy peasy because I'm going to have to actually get get business, and that's going to be like obviously a tricky bit for everybody getting is getting business when you're self employed and you've got your own business. So we'll see. But I'm hoping in the meantime, if I'm on this cleaning agency, that will give me a few jobs to do and bring in some money. So we'll see. But yeah, anyway, but yeah, so if you've got any negative comments, I mean, you can put them, that's up to you, but they will be removed um, if I feel like they're not very nice. Um, that's that's where I am at the moment. But, you know, to make anything change, you've got to take a leap, haven't you? Um, I couldn't have stayed where I was at the hotel just because I, I couldn't deal with the weekend working and the uncertainty of where my working pattern was. That wasn't working for me. So... At least if I'm working for myself, I will know when I'm working. And then if I need to take some time off, I can decide that. I don't have to clear it with anybody. Um, and if I get a job as a receptionist at the doctors, then I know I'll be working Monday to Friday. I will have some holiday to take if and when I need to. Um, and I know I have weekends off with my kids and bank holidays and things like that. So and because I know I'm working Monday to Friday, I can plan in childcare for when the holidays are and the days that I can't then we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, you know. I just need a bit more stability with three children, to be honest. Um, which is ironic, seeing as I've just put us in complete financial instability by not having a job right now. But there we go. So, um, yeah, but something will something will pop up. Things usually do, everything always works out in the end. But yeah, so now what I've got to do, I need to film my Assumptions of Me um, video, because I need to get that out to you guys, because um, I said when I hit 3k that was how we were going to like mark that occasion I've got all your comments on there so I need to sort that out my house is a tip and when I say my house is a tip I mean my house is a tip I didn't do much last night because I was just I just had a day of it really I was just like you know what I'm not gonna do anything it's the evening it's just not gonna happen so I need to sort that out Zach and Charlie have both got their school discos this evening so it's gonna be a very quick dinner a quick turnaround Charlie's disco is 5 45 to 6 45 and Zach's is 7 until 8 so it's going to be a manic evening, but it will be fine. And they're both really looking forward to it. So anyway, I will crack on with what I need to do. And then I will probably see you at the school run. Right, so I'm being a really good mother at the moment. And to get them to leave me alone. Can you have a spoonful of this? Mind out, please. What? Oh, I'm looking for my tablet. And I think someone stole it because I can't find it. No one's stolen your tablet. Now go away. Yes. Go um, away, Charlie. You're so there dumb. You go. Don't call your brother dumb. Um, right, I'm going to make your dinner now. You're having cheese toasties, okay? You can have a raw cheese toasty, Lily, which is a cheese sandwich. And baked beans. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, are these baked beans? Yes, these are baked beans. So I've got the kids from... What's that in there? Um, got the kids from school and then I had to go back and get the boys from dodgeball in that time I managed to clean the kitchen um yeah so now I'm just gonna get the dinner on because it's five o'clock and Charlie's got to be at his disco at 5 45 so I need to get the bread so I'm gonna do that now right we are on our way to taking Charlie to the first school disco of the evening they've all had cheese toasties and things for dinner and I've given him five pounds spending money so he should be able to get quite a lot for that um, and I think he's quite excited. Oh, I'll tell you what though, it is cold. It's flipping cold. So I think we've made the decision today that um, I'm just going to go ahead and set my own business up. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to start, go out on my own. Give me a kiss, give mummy a kiss. Have a lovely time, give me a kiss. Yeah. Headbutt my face. Alright, show me your outfit, Zaki. Zach's all ready for his school. Disco, Daddy's just shining up his shoes a little bit because he hasn't got any smart, smart shoes. And this is your who sent you this suit from all the men, wasn't it? China, from China. From China. From China. All the men, all the men on Amazon. Hello, and Ariana's already festival disco as well. Show us your dress, love. Take off your coat. 
Oh, very nice. Right, so we're about to head off and get Charlie from his school disco and take Zach and Ariana to theirs. Charlie's friend's mum's come back for an hour because there's no point in going home because it's such a short amount of time. So we've all been having a bit of gin. Um, I've got mine in a wine glass though, so I've only got two proper gin glasses. I haven't got a key, no. Where's my key? Oh, I hang it up on the hook, I think. No. No, where's your key then? And then to add to everything I have to do in my life, Gav's been by the latest time I got to the other day. So now I have to look up for this damn thing. When I woke up this morning, I'd forgotten all about it. It had done four poos and was sick. So I had to quickly um, sort it out so that it didn't die. Right, get my shoes on. I think we've got some rather excited kids with us. You got the key? Yeah, Okay. Show me what you got then. Woo! <laughs> got a glow up sticks. Okay, so um, it's five past eight. Gareth and my sister have just gone to pick up the old two from their disco and Gareth's going to take them both home. Time we've got to is now asleep. Um, I can't believe I've got to keep an eye on that thing. Um, I kept it alive for like two, two and a bit days now, so that's good. Um, yeah, I forgot what I was going to say to you. I was, oh yeah, I know what I'm going to say. Um, so yeah, I'm probably going to end the vlog here because um, when Zach gets home, I'm going to have to shower the two boys because they need showers and make mine and Gareth's dinner we're just having like cheese toasties or I think I have to have a chicken toasty because he thinks that dairy might not be so good for his tummy um and chicken's the only other thing I've got to put in it and like some coleslaw and salad um so when he gets home I'll do that um but, yeah so it's just it's a bit up in the air at the moment and I said to my sister my house feels like chaos as well because I haven't done an awful lot of housework today which my sister was like yeah I can tell when she came in so I'm just sorting the kitchen out at the moment um, and I've had a quick tidy up but um yeah, I need to see her in again but I'm not doing that tonight because it's gone eight o'clock now um but I said to her when she was giving Lily a shower for me I was like can you see like the state of my house reflects the state of my mind I'm like I don't know what's going on at the moment I'm all, all over the place and now my house is like that as well. And she was like, yeah, my house feels like that too. And I'm like that. Um, but tomorrow I've got a cleaning job for two hours in the morning through the agency that I'm signed on with, a temporary cover job. So that's, that's good. Um, and then I have the rest of the day to sort it out. And um, yeah, so it'll be fine. I think this is just a change that I need to make. So that's good. But yesterday, um, I need a tissue. Yesterday, I had to take Lily's ballet after school. And it's moved location, not far, but um, I couldn't find the bit of where we were going. So I got there, I couldn't figure out where we went to park, drove around to try and find it again. And if you've, if you've seen Motherland on <laughs> on BBC, um, in the very first season, like the very first episode, where she's um, like, gets stuck between the two lights and stuff, and then she just sat in the car and she's like, <gasps> That is what I was like yesterday because we were late for ballet, I couldn't find the place, and I was, I was running out of fuel as well. I really needed to get petrol or diesel. Um, and like, I just decided to leave my job and everything that I was there. I just hadn't had a good day, as I've explained. I was just like, oh my God, and I just sat in the car, just driving on. I was like, ah! <laughs> like, I can't go with this. And Zachy's in the front, and I'm like, can you get, try and help mummy, like, look up their maps on my phone? Oh, it was just such a nightmare. But um, we, found, we, got, we got there in the end. Lily had like 10 minutes of her ballet lesson. Um, but she's actually been moved up a group. So when she goes next week, we won't need to get there like straight after school. It'll be 4.35 that she starts, not five past four. So it'll give us a bit of time. We can come home, get changed and then leave. And it'll be fine. Um, and it was just more manic yesterday because the road shut as well. So there's loads of traffic. So I had to go a different way, um, which took longer, but was quicker. But yeah, and then on the way there, I remembered that the location had changed so then I had to pull over find the leaflet in my bag and then try and find the place and it was just a bit of a nightmare um but yeah today <laughs> yeah my house just uh, yeah I'm kind of looking around and I'm like yeah I can tell that you're you're going through um a little bit of upheaval Claire because your house looks a bit upheaved so yeah my my environment is definitely a reflection of my state of mind um but yeah I think now that I've made a decision on what I'm going to do I also don't know if the um, if the doctor's surgery will want me because um, I, when I was in there, they were asking. I'm oh, sorry, I'm oh, getting a cold. Um, they were asked what I would do if my kids were sick, like what my support network was like if my children were poorly, because obviously I've got three kids and they're going to get ill. And I thought, well, 
if my kids are ill, I'm obviously gonna have to stay at home with them like most people would with their jobs. Like, to be honest, I tend to just dose them up and send them in unless they're really poorly, because that's the example I set. I go in unless I really can't stay off work. Um, and I want them to do it as well. I don't want them to just be like, oh, I'm gonna stay at home because I'm not feeling great. It's like, no, you dose yourself up, you go in, you try, and if you can't, then you come home. Um, but yeah, I kind of got the feeling that they would expect me to find other people to look after them and me be in work. And I was like, well, it depends on what they're ill with, really. If they're really poorly, then I need them at home and I have to stay at home with them because I can't ask people to look after sick children. Um, so yeah, I just kind of got the feeling. And then I also got the feeling that it'd be difficult to get time off, like if I needed to take, you know, days off as holiday for like inset days or during school holidays. So I don't think that they're really gonna want me because of the fact that I've got three kids. Um, but my mum said she didn't think they're allowed to ask questions like that because it's like discrimination if they're asking like how I'm going to sort my kids out or what I'm going to do with them when they're sick so I can still come into work so <clears throat> I don't know if I want to work somewhere that's going to like give me a hard time if my kids are ill because if they are ill like kids get ill you know if you want mothers to work you've got to accept that sometimes we're not going to come in because of lack of childcare or they're ill it's just the fact of life of having kids so I, I think that I'm making the right decision. Um, I still think I made the right decision leaving my job. I still think that. I think I made the right decision at trying this other one because at least now I know what I don't want. Yeah, so anyway, but that's what I'm gonna do. So watch this space. I'll keep you updated as to what I'm doing, basically. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna leave the vlog here and I will see you another day. Um, I have got, I filmed my assumptions about me um, vlog today, or oh, not vlog, but video so that'll be coming soon as well and um yeah i will see you guys later have a lovely day evening whenever you're watching this weekend whenever this goes up i'm not sure when it'll be going up but um i'll see you in the next one take care everybody and thank you for watching